Hello everyone, this is Imran Ali here. Welcome back to our channel. And today we are going to talk about how to make a WordPress plugin from scratch and how you can insert that in WordPress. So as you can see, we are at WordPress.com and it's one of the best way to understand every single thing. You might need one software related to PHP coding or something like that. It's nothing more like you are not going to do any coding, but that uh, software any software like visual studio etc you can use for this uh, plugins um, right now i'm going to show you how you can just easily insert your plugin like from over here like you can see it's plugins go to add new and it will ask you from on the top you can see upload plugin once you click on it you can upload your plugin over here just remember that you need to uh, put your zip file over here so it could be any like archive file and then you can just uh, drag that over here and upload it so how you can do it so first of all you need to search for plugin handbook the first link is developer.wordpress.org hyphen plugins so here you will find some plugins how click on it and it will take you right over here and go over plugin basics open this up header requirements so what it does as you can see the first one is plugin name your name you need to give your plugin a name right and if you scroll down more you can see we have more things like plugin name plugin uh, uri description version requires at least and all those Arthur Arthur UI and obviously you can just delete that like if you don't want to add these all you can just easily delete that so you just need to copy over here from here and just paste that to VS like Visual Studio with any PHP coding software so I'm just gonna show you how it looks like on you know Visual Studio so the first thing you need to do after opening your visual studio or any software related to coding you need to save that file by creating new document like just suppose it's a word document and you're just creating a new document right so you can just click on uh, obviously here i'm giving an example for uh, visual studio so you can just click on uh, control n and create new document let's just suppose this is a new document and save that file in php file how you can see over here this is what php right name that file and then after selecting your type of this file would be php because we need to plug in use this plugin right on our you know wordpress so once you does that it would be saved like this file is going to be our plugin after that what do you need to do you need to go back on your document and you need to write this and this is the code where you are going to start you just need to write this one and after that i told you you can just put that and place like paste that uh you know the one i have shown you you know the one i have shown you from over here you can just copy this copy and go over here and just paste that over here it's very easy and that's it you can just delete that if you want to if you don't want to name this uh, like uh, domain path or text domain if you don't want that just select that and press backspace that's it that's very easy right so right now we have given our plugin a name and every single thing we have created our document and uh, every single thing we are going very smoothly next thing we need to do we need to add the thing like whatever the purpose of this plugin would be right so how you can find that you can see over here we have add filter show admin bar return false so what it does um let me go over here and i'm gonna show you what it does so this is the admin bar you can see and sometimes if i click on my website and it it via it uh, like it will show up again on my website you can see on the top we have seen so this is the admin bar if 
I make a plugin for this and I install that in my you know in my WordPress this admin bar will be gone so if you want that you can just do that and you are seeing that like where did I find this right so you need to want do one more thing you just need to go over your Google Chrome and just write down WordPress snippets after that you will find WordPress snippets what it does like you have pre-created coded codes which you can choose for your plugins you know so if you don't find something just search that on Google and you will find coding related to it and you just need to copy that and paste that on Visual Studios so you can see the first option like the first link is uh, themeisle.com and I just opened this up and you can see we have like allow contributors to upload images show popular posts without plugins and disable search in WordPress you know you can just do that easy after that you can see this one we have chosen this one you just need to copy that and paste that on your visual studio and save that file after that once you've done that you just name that you just tell your file like your plugin your purpose after that one last thing before uploading this on your uh, wordpress you just need to go over your file and add that into archive because this would be our zip file right we need to create our zip file for this file you know and after that just simply upload that on your wordpress so this is how you can do it and uh, you can see you have so many options over here let's just suppose you have this over here right now right um, if you just copy this one this PayPal donation short code you can just copy this all right and you can just delete this purpose and paste new purpose of this plugin and that plugin would work like that so it's very easy to understand and easy to use you just need one thing which is uh, PHP coding software and that's it so I hope you understand every single thing and uh, it's very easy to understand if you don't understand please go back and watch again I, I can make sure that you will understand and uh, thank you for watching this video leave a like and subscribe bye bye take care